Just about to finish up insulating the van. I've been using inch and a half thick foam insulation when the wall's thick enough and then stepping down to three quarter inch thick when it's thinner and I don't have as much room to work with. Just have a couple pieces left to fill in on the ceiling up here and then this thing's gonna be nice and toasty. Around all the foam insulation panels I've been using spray foam to fill all the little cracks and it really helps to hold the foam insulation in place too. Gotta get those trimmed up with a knife and flush with the side of the wall. And then I can move on to putting up some plywood on the inside here. I'm excited for that part. Stuff cuts really easy. I learned that this stuff will stay in your hands forever, like especially on your fingernails and stuff. So, so we're wearing gloves. Last piece. I think the insulation's done. I'll have to trim this stuff away tomorrow once it dries. But I think I'm gonna move on to putting the plywood on the walls. I'm really excited about. I think that's gonna be a fun step and make it seem like I'm actually making some progress on this thing. I figured the only chance I had of matching these odd shapes was to make uh, pretty intricate stencils. Just laying all the cardstock paper on there and then cutting everything out and where the edges were a little short, I'll bring in another piece of paper and then I'm gonna transfer it onto the plywood.
Just trying to trim it up flat with the, the other wood. I decided to pull all the windows out and then once I get the interior walls up I can recalk around them and make sure they're all sealed up tight. You need a little bit of work and maintenance anyways. On to the last couple pieces. Yeah, they're not going through. Once that's dried tomorrow, I can trim it flush and I think put the windows back in. All right, I think I'm ready to put the windows back in. But first, I want to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Smart Jars. I've been putting a lot of work into getting organized out here in the barn. And I'm getting ready to do a project back there where I build a big rack to store metal and wood on. That's what all this metal here is for. That's large scale organization, but small scale organization is just as important. I can waste so much time looking for a small handful of screws that I know is somewhere in here. Smart Jars makes a product that I think is really gonna help me organize all my little bits and pieces that I have all over the place around here. These cups snap onto any standard pegboard. And I thought instead of buying some pegboard, I thought maybe I could make my own pegboard on the CNC table. I have so many boxes of miscellaneous screws and nuts and wiring connectors that I can't wait to get organized. Smart jars are proudly designed and manufactured in the USA. I thought I'd put yellow over here for electrical connectors and all the bolts and nuts on this side and the black ones. I think the thing that I like about them is that you can grab the ones you need for the projects you're working on and then use them and then when you're done just throw them back on there. 
It's gonna be a nice tool to have while you're working on the project too. Order with the promo code RAINFALL and the first 50 orders get 20% off. I'd really like to thank Smart Jars for sponsoring this channel and for helping me get a little bit more organized around here. Let's go install some windows. All right, I got the window all cleaned up and the side of the van. So I've been trying to decide the best way to seal this thing. The window has a rubber gasket around it, which isn't in the greatest shape, but still decent and I think usable. And I think what I'm gonna do is put a bead of caulk around the window, kind of a small one right around the edge, and then press the window in, tighten it down, and then put a caulk, a bead around the outside of the window as well. I'm not sure how the caulking and the rubber gasket will work together, but thinking about it for a while, I think that's the best way to go. I set the window in here temporarily and drew a line around it so I know where the edge of the window was. Screws pull the two sides of the window together, sandwiching it on the, the wall. So it's really important to get the right thickness of the wall. I'm a little nervous about it, but I think it's gonna be pretty close. You have to factor in the studs and the interior walls. Make sure it all matches the same thickness as the window. Still look nice. There's no gap anywhere around it. I think it's nice and tight. Go put some caulk around the outside. Oh, hello. hello. How's that looking? Yeah, looks really good. Good. I need the sides now. Yeah. Is it good luck or bad luck to have a black cat under the ladder? Oh, definitely good luck. That balloon? Yeah. Thank you. All right, feels good to be making progress on this thing again. Now that the farming season's wrapped up, I have a little bit more time to spend out here on this. I got everything insulated, I got the interior walls up, and I got those three windows installed. I think next I'm gonna work on putting the ceiling panels up, and then I have the flooring. I think I'll go ahead and put that in. And then the next big step is designing the cabinets. Now that I have the final shape of the, the van, I can figure out, um, how everything's gonna fit and uh, work in there with the cabinet design. So, excited to do that too. Yeah, feels good.